Hello world, my name is Victor Engelmann. Welcome back to this video series about professional network design. Yeah, today I want to do something relatively simple. I expect this video to become quite short. I want to set up an NTP server and that is very uh, straightforward. So uh, that's why I'm not doing anything on the whiteboard now. Um, yeah, what does an NTP server do? Well, an NTP server tells you what time it is. Okay, that uh, might sound a bit uh, ridiculous, but um, but yeah, that's actually a pretty important thing in a professional network because um, there are some services that require um, to uh, have servers and clients um, have their times in sync, or at least uh, uh, nearly in sync. Um, and their connection might fail if they are not synchronized. For example, the Kerberos um, authentication can fail when uh, machines have more than five minutes difference in their uh, system clocks. So yeah, that's why we need NTP servers. And uh, yeah, now I will configure one. So as you can see, I'm already uh, logged on uh, to the net test, which is also the DNS server. Um, and yeah, let's just dive right in. I will just install the server, NTP. All right. Now we need to edit Etsy NT dot conf and down here you have a few upstream servers so these are servers where uh, our NTP server can get the current time um, these are from uh, uh, debian.pool.ntp.org yeah I'm fine with that I, uh, if you want to use different NTP servers there's a lot of NTP servers on the internet. Uh, you can just Google for them and you will find more than enough NTP servers to use as a source here. So I'll just leave the configuration as it is. Um, right now I don't have a firewall on my network, um, so we won't have a problem uh, getting the data from the server, but uh, for future reference I want to mention that uh, NTP runs on port 123, which is funny because it's 123, like the time. And uh, yeah, when we, um, when we configure a firewall later, then we need to remember that we need to let the NTP server communicate on port 123. Um, now, before I proceed, um, I mean, I have installed this on the same server that also runs the DNS server, right? So I could configure my clients now to um, to obtain their time from ns1.engelmann.local because that's one host name known to the DNS server uh, where this service um, can be reached. But um, Actually, it's not a good idea to run multiple services on the same system. I mean, normally you would have a server like uh, with lots of CPUs and then you would run a hypervisor on that and run your different services on different VMs on that uh, server. But when you do something like this, where you have multiple services on the same machine, maybe even the same virtual machine, doesn't matter, um, then do yourself a favor and um, put additional entries in your DNS server for that. So, so that every service has its own entry in the DNS server. So in here I might put something like NTP in a and just put the same IP address here 
as the NS1 um, for one simple reason. Assume everything works fine and uh, you're happy, but uh, your company grows and gets bigger and bigger and bigger and more and more load uh, is put on that same hardware. And at some point you decide uh, to move one of these services to different hardware. Now, if all your machines are configured to get their time from ns1.engelmann.local, then you have to reconfigure all of these machines. Okay, And if you do it like this, then you configure your machines to get their time from ntp.engelmann.local. And um, yeah, if you move that service to a different physical hardware, you just change the IP address here, like, I don't know, 101, and that's it, okay? Then everything else will just keep using ntp.engelmann.local, we'll just get a different IP address from the DNS server, and uh, we'll just be fine getting uh, their time from that different IP then. Okay, so let me... Save this. Okay. Okay. Good. So now I have a host name for the NTP server, and yeah, now I can configure my machines to use that NTP server. My laptop runs Ubuntu. Ubuntu is based on uh, System D. So on a System D um, system, you use the program time date CTL. You know, System D always has these uh, something CTL uh, programs for controlling things. So I've turned NTP off for now, so that I, it doesn't interfere with my uh, reconfiguration. And um, then you have to enter the NTP server in etsy systemd timesyncd.conf. Down here, you set NTP, for example, to ntp.engelmann.local. Maybe you uh, want to use some fallback, some public NTP servers. Um, maybe not. Now, um, you might want to set up multiple NTP servers and yeah, you just do it uh, like the one I just configured. You just install NTP on these machines. You just do it on multiple machines, okay? Then you give them, I don't know, uh, host names like ntp1.engelmann.local and ntp2.engelmann.local. Um, so that when one of them fails, you still have the other one, you know, fail safety. You know, you get fail safety by having redundancy. You have multiple servers that do the same thing then configure your system to use uh, both of them. And uh, yeah, here you can just put multiple NTP servers and separate them with a space. So let's say ntp2.engelmann.local. If I had a second NTP server, which I would set up the exact same way like the one I just set up. But since I don't really have that, I will uh, remove it again. Okay. And now let's turn NTP on again. Okay. Now it's on again. Okay. So let's now check if it does what it is supposed to do. The time here looks good, but I'm not sure if it was good before. Probably it was, so sudo system control status system D time sync 
T and yeah this is looking good it's using my NTP server that's what I want to see okay so as I told you this is quite simple I mean the server just gives out the time it's not surprising that uh, uh, that this was simple but uh, I mean it uh, does some uh, advanced stuff behind the scenes but um, yeah anyhow it was quite simple to configure I told you this would be a short video so anyhow if you like this very short video like it share it subscribe and see you next time